Drew Heretic woke to the faint jingle of bells, a sound that once brought joy but now seemed to carry a haunting melancholy. As Drew pulled back the curtains, the town of Everwood appeared as if cloaked in a shroud of sadness. Christmas decorations, once vibrant and cheerful, now hung with a muted solemnity. Drew, a lifelong resident of Everwood, couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. The air, usually crisp with anticipation, now carried an unspoken sorrow that seeped into every corner of the small town. The townsfolk moved about in a daze, their festive spirit drained by an unseen force. A sense of responsibility tugged at Drew's heart, an empathetic soul who couldn't bear to see their beloved town in such disarray. Determined to uncover the cause of this pervasive sadness, Drew, armed with an old leather-bound journal passed down through generations, embarked on a journey through the quiet streets of Everwood. The journal, filled with cryptic notes and faded sketches, hinted at an ancient artifact, a safeguard against a malevolent force that could consume the town in sorrow. The pages whispered of a ritual, a forgotten ceremony that, if performed correctly, could strengthen the protective charm around the artifact. Drew's investigation led them to the elderly residents, keepers of Everwood's tales. In hushed conversations, they spoke of the artifact's history and the ritual's significance. The artifact, hidden away in secrecy, was said to be losing its protective charm, allowing a sorrowful entity to seep into the town. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Drew delved into the town's archives, uncovering a dusty book that detailed the steps of the ritual. The ritual required the collection of unique items scattered across the town, each with its own connection to Everwood's history. The journey through Everwood's quiet streets became a pilgrimage through the town's memories. The journal guided Drew to the forgotten corners, where the tales of joy and sorrow were etched into the very stones. Each collected item held a piece of Everwood's intricate history, each with a unique significance in the battle against the encroaching sorrow. The first stop was the cozy bakery on Elm Street, its faded sign barely visible behind a layer of frost. Inside, the elderly baker, Mrs. Thompson, welcomed Drew with a knowing smile. She handed over a small, delicately crafted gingerbread man, a cherished recipe passed down through generations. This here, Mrs. Thompson whispered, her eyes glinting with wisdom, holds the laughter of children and the warmth of family gatherings. The second destination took Drew to the old bookstore, its shelves lined with forgotten stories and dusty memories. The creaky wooden floor whispered as Drew approached the counter, where Mr. Jennings, the town's bookworm, handed over a worn copy of a classic novel. This book, Mr. Jennings murmured, carries the dreams of those who sought solace in its pages during the darkest nights. The darkly themed items added a mysterious layer to Drew's quest. The journey led them to Madame Zara's tent, a place whispered about in hushed tones. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of incense. Drew approached the fortune teller, who handed them a tarot card stained with age. This card, Madame Zara intoned, holds the echoes of lost souls and the weight of unfulfilled destinies. The next destination led Drew to the town's forgotten graveyard, where tombstones stood like silent sentinels in the moonlight. The caretaker, an old man with haunted eyes, handed Drew a vial of soil from an unmarked grave. This soil, he murmured, bears witness to the sorrows buried beneath, the unspoken tales of the departed. The final item led Drew to the edge of the town, to an abandoned mansion with ivy-covered walls. The mansion, once a grand residence, now stood in silent decay. Drew entered the darkened halls, guided only by the moonlight filtering through cracked windows. In the heart of the mansion, Drew discovered a cracked porcelain doll, its features frozen in a permanent expression of sorrow. 
The caretaker of the mansion, an elderly woman with haunted eyes, appeared and spoke in a voice that seemed to echo through the corridors. This doll, she said, her gaze piercing through the darkness, holds the weight of forgotten tragedies and the echoes of lost souls who once roamed these halls. Each item, representing a facet of Everwood's history, held a unique resonance. As Drew stood in the town square on Christmas Eve, surrounded by the gathered items, the townsfolk watching with a mix of anticipation and hope, the ritual began. Drawing upon the laughter of children, the solace found in literature, the echoes of lost souls, the sorrows buried beneath, and the forgotten tragedies, Drew wove a tapestry of Everwood's collective spirit. The darkly themed items, though ominous, became symbols of resilience and redemption. The sorrowful entity materialized, a swirling mass of darkness that seemed to resonate with the shadows cast by the dim moonlight. It lashed out, a manifestation of the town's deepest fears and darkest secrets. But Drew, surrounded by the townsfolk, stood defiant. The protective circle formed by the United Residents held strong against the entity's onslaught. The dark energy clashed with the stories of resilience and redemption, creating an otherworldly spectacle in the town square. In a burst of light and shadow, the protective barrier was restored, banishing the entity back into the haunted corners of Everwood. The town, though scarred by its history, emerged into the dawn of Christmas morning bathed in an ethereal glow. Drew, amidst the wary yet grateful townsfolk, watched as the once dull decorations regained an otherworldly brilliance. Laughter and the haunting melodies of carolers filled the air, a testament to the town's ability to confront its darkest aspects and find redemption. As the day unfolded, the townsfolk gathered in the mysterious town square, sharing stories of loss and resilience. Drew, the keeper of Everwood's darkened history, knew that the town's strength lay not only in its light but also in the shadows it dared to face. And so, Everwood celebrated a peculiar Christmas, a reminder that even in the darkest corners, the echoes of pain could be transformed into a haunting symphony of resilience and redemption. <laughs>